we can get a lot of information about a nonlinear system by finding its equilibrium points and determining their character. In this video, we will see how this works in an explicit example. Furthermore, we will discuss how you can use this information to obtain a rough sketch of the nonlinear phase space. So let us get started. We have this nonlinear system over here. Uh, which we have studied before. Earlier we already determined the equilibrium points. We found four equilibrium points, 0, 0, 0, 2, minus 2, 0, 1, 1. And in case you missed the previous video on that, just plug in the numbers into the right hand sides and you will see you will get 0, 0 all the time. So you can easily check whether you have an equilibrium point or not. Now we take a look at their character. Uh, for that, we need the uh, Jacobi matrix. So we want to rewrite our system as u prime equals j times u. And j is the matrix containing the partial derivatives of f1 and f2. So we compute the f, the x1 over here. We compute the f1, the x2 over here. We compute the df2, the x1. So differentiate this one. With respect to x1, I get an x2, and the f2, the x2 over here. So differentiate this one with respect to x2. This is an x1 plus 2x2 minus 2, which is this element over here. So there we have the Jacobi matrix. And then for each uh, element, uh, for each uh, equilibrium point, we have to see how uh, the matrix looks. So first we plug in the first point, 0, 0. In 0, 0, we have the following matrix. So we have a system of the form u prime equals u, j times u with the j over here. So how does, the, how does this look? Well, we can immediately read off what the eigenvalues are. So 2 is an eigenvalue with eigenvector 1, 0. Minus 2 is the other eigenvalue with eigenvector 0, 1. And we are done immediately because we have a diagonal matrix. So we now know how our nonlinear system behaves in the virginity of the origin. It will be a saddle point because we have eigenvalues 2 and minus 2 uh, with the uh, e1 as outgoing direction and uh, e2 as an ingoing direction. First equilibrium point done onto the second one, 0, 2. So we plug in in the Jacobian x1 equals 0, x2 equals 2. So plug these numbers in over here. You get uh, 2 times 0, minus 3 times 2 equals minus 6, plus 2 equals minus 4. So there you have the minus 4. And then uh, x1 equals 0, so this one equals 0. x2 equals 2, so this one becomes 2. And then x1 equals 0, and x2 equals 2 gives a 0 plus 4 minus 2 gives a 2 over here. Again, it's easy to read of the eigenvalues because we have a, a triangular matrix. Uh, so they are minus 4 and 2. For 2 it's immediately clear that E2 is the eigenvector. And for minus 4 you have to do a bit more work in order to find the eigenvector minus 3, 1. And again we have uh, eigenvectors uh, above and below 0. So again we have a saddle point. Two equilibrium points done. Two more to go. Minus 2, 0. The next equilibrium point. What do we get now? Now we have to plug in minus 2 for x1 and 0 for x2. So we have a 0 over here. Um, we get here a minus 4 plus 2 equals minus 2. We get here minus 3 times minus 2 equals 6. Here minus 2 plus 0 minus 2 equals minus 4. So there we have our Jacobi matrix. Uh, again, we can compute the eigenvalues. We have a triangular matrix, so this is again easy. We can read minus 2, uh, we see immediately minus 2, and accompanying eigenvector 1, 0, and the other eigenvalue minus 4. For that eigenvector you have to do a bit more work, but you will find minus 3, 1. One more equilibrium point to go. This one is slightly more complicated, you have to plug in 1, 1 in the uh, Jacobi matrix, so x1 and x2 both equal to 1, so you get 2 minus 3 plus 2 equals 1, then a minus 3, a 1, and 1 plus 2 minus 2 equals 1. So here we have our uh, Jacobi matrix. Now we have to compute the eigenvalues. 
So we so have to subtract uh, lambda times i2. Also slightly more complicated, gives us a 1 minus lambda squared equals uh, minus 3. So now we have complex eigenvalues and we have lambda equals 1 plus or minus i times the square root of 3. And we won't need the eigenvectors here. So this will give us a, a, this will give us a spiral point and we will spiral outward because we have a plus 1, so we have a positive real part. So to summarize and also uh, for the uh, graph later on, in 0, 0 we have a saddle because eigenvalues are 2 and minus 2. In 0, 2 we also have a saddle because eigenvalues are minus 4 and 2. And then in uh, minus 2, uh, 0 we have an attractor because we have two negative eigenvalues. And finally in 1, 1 we have an unstable spiral point. So there we go. Uh, then we want to, uh, if you have a spiral point, we want to know whether we go, uh, say, uh, counterclockwise or clockwise around this. Well, the easiest way is to plug in a point which is very close to uh, the spiral point. So 1, 1 is our spiral point. So 1, 1 point 1 is very close to that. Will give us a, give us a right hand side. Will give us a direction minus 0.3 minus uh, 0 0.01. So we will go there to the left. So now we can try to make a sketch. Uh, first of all, 0, 0 is a saddle point with uh, outgoing along E1 and ingoing along E2. We will do only the x1 and x2 positive, by the way. And then the 0, 2 is also a saddle point. Uh, an outgoing direction along E2, so like this. And an ingoing direction along minus 3, 1. So that's roughly minus 3, 1, like this. And then an ingoing direction that okay there we go and then we have a spiral point which goes to the left slightly above so slightly above we go to the left so the spiral point sort of looks like that so phase space linear looks locally a bit like this so there we go so there we have our phase space we only know exactly what happens close to our equilibrium points so you cannot draw, draw the full phase space we know what's going on around the equilibrium points. This already gives us a lot of information what's happening qualitatively. And of course, if you want to draw the full phase space, you'll uh, better use a uh, computer algebra package, which gives you all the uh, direction arrows. But for the analysis, we like to look at what happens at the equilibrium points. And now you know how to do that.